Yo, what's up? FL Studio has a wealth of built-in plugins that provide a ton of functionality to a producer. In its 26 years of operation, FL Studio has created 56 instrument plugins and 77 effect plugins, catering to any style of musician. Simple plugins like Boobase, FL Keys, and Flex have been great gateways for novice producers to get their hands wet, and plugins like Citrus and Harmer are extremely powerful tools in the hands of seasoned professionals. But in that sea of 133 plugins lies one that is often overlooked, easily being swept away into the depths of the DAW. But today we're going to get a closer look at that plugin, the eerie machine you often skip, Beatmap. But before we get into it, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Tracklib. Tracklib is the first and only online record store designed specifically for sampling. This includes the works of famous producers like Bob James and Frank Dukes, or industry legends like Bobby Caldwell and Isaac Hayes. With an ever-expanding catalog of over 100,000 songs to choose from, Tracklib has tons of music to flip, chop, and sample. Whether you're using the filter search to find songs in specific keys or genres, or digging through the collections tab curated by your favorite producers, Tracklib's got you covered. You can also use Tracklib's built-in loop and beat feature to help you jog some ideas on how you can flip the sample. It's super simple to use, and you can even download the loops you create with it. And once you find a sample and make a song with it, you can clear the sample on the website. The average sample clearing process is pretty time consuming and very expensive, costing thousands of dollars on average. But with a Tracklib subscription, you can clear as many samples as you want for no additional costs. And Tracklib doesn't just have songs anymore. You can use Tracklib Sounds, a complete library of royalty-free one-shots and loops made by industry producers. You can find some great high quality sounds for your next session and streamline your production process. And the sounds work seamlessly with the songs tab in Tracklib. It's got all of your sonic needs and one subscription. And right now Tracklib is giving away double the amount of credits to you guys. Using my link in the description, you get a free trial subscription and 100 download credits so you can get into crate digging and sound searching right away. Huge thanks to Tracklib for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the beat. I still remember the first time I opened Beatmap. Back in the day, I would just go through and try every plugin in FL just so I had an understanding of what everything did. That's actually how I learned how to use plugins like Harmless, and I made my first songs with them. It's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. But Beatmap always left me pretty confused. I would open up and try to mess with the presets, expecting, you know, something normal, but they would always end up with this eerie, scary sound. I actually didn't learn what Beatmap did until I read the FL Studio manual, so let me explain. Beatmap generates a sound based on an image. From left to right, it'll scan an image and map its colors and brightness to tone and volume, and then it plays those colors on sine waves. Beatmap is especially good at producing atmospheric and eerie sounds. Hmm. And the algorithm carries different properties for different colors. For example, red only makes sound out of the left channel, and green only makes sound out of the right. So a color like yellow would be in mono. Of course, you could always use a pan balance or a plugin that can force sounds into mono, so it's not really a big deal. Other colors, like purple, have pretty interesting effects. Since it's not as vibrant as something like yellow, the sounds come out a bit muffled and softer. And since purple is closer to red than it is to green, it also comes out of the left ear a little bit more. And other colors, like black and blue, don't make any sound at all and white is max volume. The frequency controls how much of the picture bitmap is being used height-wise. From my experience, all I've seen it do is make the sound more or less dissonant. And at 0%, it actually sounds very pleasant. I even made a little preset for it. Now you can still get some nice melodic ghostly sounds at like one or two percent, but anything more than that and it's giving horror movie. Length controls the length of the picture being played. The greater the length, the longer the sound will last. And of course you can use the loop button to make the sound play forever. The other buttons include grain, which gives your sound a granular texture to it, and widen, which acts as a nice stereo effect. I actually use this one pretty often. And lastly, you can change the scales of the sounds being played in either linear or logarithmic hertz frequencies or in harmonic semitones.
Now I'm gonna be honest, there isn't a ton of functionality with this plugin. Once you change the frequency, it's essentially just a sine wave, but you can get some interesting rhythms with certain pictures. For example, if I use my logo, which is just a black and white picture of my head, ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> I can get this cool LFO volume effect. And with that, I can make a little chord progression with it. I did add a few effects to it, like a bit crush with effector, an EQ to cut the lows and volume, Vastus to tame some frequencies, and a reverb. And then I consolidated it into a sample and then made some adjustments on the timeline. Next, I pitched it down 400 cents, and then I added some more effects, like some more EQs and a few automated reverbs for some spacey effects later in the song. I also added deep blue glitch for this cool glitchy tape stop effect. Custom photos work great in Beatmap, but you can also do some pretty incredible stuff with the presets in FL, like this preset right here. With a little bit of tweaking and a little arpeggio, I made this cool little arp melody. I also added some effects to it, pretty simple stuff. And next, I made a cool little preset with a gradient picture I made in Photoshop. I changed the envelope settings, and then I played this melody with it. Now we have some pretty cool melodic motifs going, and we've only used one plugin. So I wanted to fill this out some more by adding 3x oscillator and GMS for a little melodic background support and a bass melody. Okay, so the hard part of the song is pretty much finished. All I gotta do is make some banging drums that complement the melody. I'm using this hard kick, this snappy snare, and a simple hi-hat rhythm. And I also made this cool bongo pattern. I like the bounce it had. And next, I added these high-pass drum loops just to give the beat some more texture. Let's wrap this beat up with a hard-hitting Spins 808. and some cool transition sounds. Also added this little vocal chant. I thought it sounded cool. Yeah, ho. Yeah, ho. And once we do some arrangement, that's pretty much the beat. I also made a little preset and image pack for Beatmap. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll have it on my Patreon. And here's the final beat. 